so intense. My life is falling apart. You attempted to pull your ex Helena's underwear over her face. She called the police on you. Oh God. Well, hello there. Now let me ask you, have you ever had a bad day or just woken up before and been like, hmm, I wish there was a way to start over to just get a brand new life. Well, now you can, thanks to technology and the BitLife app. No, this is not a sponsored video. The only reason I know this app exists is because my friend Yami here on YouTube sent it to me and said that she thought it would be hilarious for me to play it on my channel. I'm now kind of thinking that she sent it to me because she was like, hmm, who could really benefit from pretending to have a whole other life? Oh. Lauren. Lauren probably wants a brand new life where she could just start over. <laughs> so thank you, Yami. You're a great friend. But anyway, here it is. Bit Life. Life Simulator. The super fun, not just fun, super fun text chat simulator. Oh my god, it's the number two strategy game. <laughs> How will you live your bit life? Will you try to make all the right choices in an attempt to become a model citizen sometime before you die? You could marry the man slash woman of your dreams, have kids, and pick up a good job along the way. Or will you make choices that horrify your parents? You could descend into a life of crime, start prison riots, smuggle duffel bags, and cheat on your spouse. It's all up to you. I can't wait. <laughs> all right, guys, whoever the new me is, I hope you guys like them. I hope you accept them because Lauren is now no more. All right, let's begin our new life. All right, this is the new me. My name is David Matthews. Wow, David Matthews. All right, I am now a boy and I am a baby. This is the new me, guys. No, no more Lauren, I am just David, David Matthews. I was born a male in Sheffield, United Kingdom. I was a planned pregnancy. Well, that's good. My father is Albert Matthews, a firefighter, aged 46. My mother is Kara Matthews, a travel agent, aged 39. I have an older sister named Libby, age one. Oh, I got a pretty, uh, pretty standard family. Happiness. I am 63% happy. Well, that's not great being that I was just born. How am I not happy? Health. I'm in good health. Smart. I am not smart, <laughs> but I am damn good looking. 95%. Yay. All right, let's age up. I'm one. Let's keep going. Oh, I'm two. Looming conflict between Russia and Australia has spawned intense riots in St. Petersburg. Well, that's fantastic. Age three, still alive, age four. All right, I'm six and I started elementary school. Okay, school, study harder, drop out of elementary school. Can you even do that legally? I don't think so. Let's study harder. I began studying harder for elementary school. Oh, I got smarter, look, I'm 32%. Okay, let's age up, whoa. I got our first decision. Your big sister Libby wants to take you to fly a kite. Will you go with her? Of course, I'm too busy argue with her. Of course, Libby, I love you. You went to fly a kite with your big sister Libby. Your enjoyment and her enjoyment. Will she really like that? I'm glad I could make your day, Libby. And that's all I did at age seven. Let's just go up again. Age eight, an unsolicited missile attack from Russia places Australia in war crisis mode. Oh God, where do I live? Oh yeah, I live in Sheffield. I'm not in Australia, it's fine. Oh, my relationships, my dad. Ask him for monies. Libby, squabble with her, have a conversation with her, assault her. Oh my God, no, I'll have a conversation with her. You and your big sister had a conversation about who gets to light the menorah. Oh, I'm also Jewish. Wow, that happened at age eight. Keep going. Oh no, you've been diagnosed with scarlet fever. Well, that's not good. Can you die from that? Is this gonna be the quickest life ever? Go to doctor, medical doctor. Dr. Helen Ramsey has determined you are currently suffering from scarlet fever. She has outlined the following treatments. Oh, we can treat it, okay. You are no longer suffering from scarlet fever. We saved ourselves. Our life is great. All our stats are in the green, yay. Let's go to 10. It's time to go to your first school dance. You are attracted to a girl named Lola Barker. Oh, I guess I'm straight, okay. What will you do? I'm gonna ask Lola to go with me. I'm gonna be more assertive in my my new life. <gasps> I took Lola to the school dance. Oh my God, yay. <gasps> my first kiss. You have an opportunity to have your first kiss with a girl named Martha Rooney. Wait, but I thought I liked the other girl. What happened to the other girl? Kiss her, but no. <gasps> Uh-oh. All grown up, you kissed. That was a terrible experience. I should not have kissed Martha. All right, let's go to 15. I started high school. 
Ooh, okay, I got new stuff. Oh, my sexuality. Oh, I can decide my sexuality. Okay, it says I'm straight. You're feeling strong heterosexual tendencies. What are you? Well, if I have strong heterosexual tendencies, then I guess I'm straight. I'm heterosexual. <laughs> Could you imagine it was like, I have strong heterosexual tendencies. I must be gay. <laughs> or you just like make them gay. Like you identify as gay, even though you have no gay feelings whatsoever. That would be an interesting life. Find a date. Luna Allen. There is a girl from school named Luna Ellen, who you think is pretty cute. So she's really good looking. She's really smart. She's kind of crazy, but she's not very popular. Let's ask her out. Oh, you're now going out with Luna. Yes. Um, I guess we're good. Let's age up. Luna started high school. You took your girlfriend Luna to arrange a nativity scene. I thought I was Jewish. Whoa. Oh, I get to drive. Driver's license. Uh, take the test, of course. What does this road sign mean? A T intersection? Yes, I passed. Okay, I need to buy a car. I don't think I can though. Can I get multiple girlfriends? <laughs> No, my current girlfriend looks better than you. I'll keep my current girlfriend, it's fine. I graduated high school! Whoa! Oh, pick a major. Oh my god, so many life decisions. Yeah, let's do dance. Apply to university. How will you pay for your university program? I have zero dollars. Ask my parents. <gasps> what? Your parents refused to pay for your college tuition? Oh, I should have spent more time with them. Let's apply for a student loan. You took out a student loan to pay. Well, that's not good. Fresh meat, you're now enrolled in university, yay! Oh no, my relationship went down with my parents. Oh, I can murder someone. No, not yet. Let's go to the club. Uh, Elton's Disco. Your friends invite you to get drunk on a boat with vodka. Will you go? Uh, yes. Dave Matthews loves vodka. Meet you at the dock. I started drinking vodka. Oh, I'm only 18. Whoops. Oh, well, I think that's the legal age in the UK, so we're fine. Uh, let's have a conversation with our girlfriend. Let's age up. Age 19, Luna graduated from high school. My big sister Libby married Marcus Knightley, an 18-year-old unemployed person. Great, it sounds like I really like this guy. Libby, why are you messing up your life? My father retired. All good for you, Dad. No wonder you didn't pay for my college tuition. You wanted to retire. Luna and I have been together for five years. Oh my god. Luna started a new position at Travel Associate for Sheffield Travel Service. All good for you, girl. Oh, wow. There's lots of options that have uh, come up now. Should we be bad? Yeah, we're living kind of a boring life right now. I need a rich girl. Come on, who, who's who got money? Take care of me. Here we go, Maggie. Uh, let's ask her on a date. Oh, no! Maggie so well rejected you. She wants to know why you're asking her out when you already have a girlfriend. I just wanted to live my life, Maggie. Damn. Oh, I can visit a casino for free? This one. You are broke. <laughs> How do I get money? Oh, maybe I can't get a job till after university. That makes sense. All right, fine. Let's just keep aging up. Oh! <gasps> She broke up with me! Your girlfriend Luna wants to break up with you. How dare you, Luna, okay? I kinda tried to cheat on you, but I didn't, okay? I didn't cheat on you. She tells you it's because she can't stop picturing you in bed with someone else. I wasn't though! Luna! What will you say? Beg her to stay and saw her one last time. Assault her! Wish her well. Beg her to stay. Humiliated! <laughs> You begged Luna to stay with you. She dumped you anyway. Luna, why? I Don't you know I'm Dave Matthews? I'm gonna be somebody someday, Luna. You just wait and see. I graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in dance. I forgot I was going to school for dance. I'm gonna be so broke. What will you do now? Look for a job. Take some time off. No, no, no. We need a job. Oh, here, junior choreographer. Fine, let's just do choreographer because I know I'll get that. I need money. Okay, we're only negative $7,000 now. I still can't afford my dating app. While well, waiting for your Uber driver, you meet a chick named Amelia. Let's ask her on a date. Yay, we're dating now. I mean, she didn't have much money, but I'm just so lonely. <laughs> my debt's going down, that's good. I have been given a raise. My salary is now fantastic. I still can't do anything though, because I'm just super in debt. My sister's relationship is bad. Well, that might be because you married a guy I hate, Libby. We went snowboarding. Well, that's great. My girlfriend. Let's spend time. Wow, I visited the family with her for the holidays. It must be serious. Okay, let's age up. My mother retired. Good for her. Let's uh, ask for a promotion. You were not given a promotion, but you did get a raise. Okay, that works. Oh no. Oh God. 
Oh no, I got her pregnant. I mean, yay. Babies are a blessing. Your girlfriend Amelia is pregnant with your baby. What do you do? Keep the baby, get an abortion. Oh my God, no, we gotta keep the baby. Can't baby, oh God, you are suffering from the flu. Yeah, 27 is a rough age. Okay, we gotta go to the doctor. Oh, let's go to Helen Ramsey. She's still practicing medicine. That's fantastic. She treated me as a child, but it, it costs money. I don't know if it's gonna allow me to go. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Proposed marriage. Fantastic. She accepted. Do I get her money now? Are we married? Fiance, okay. She has no money. Oh, no. Oh, well, then I'm not rushing into getting married with you. Oh, I got promoted to choreographer. Yes. Oh, life is... Oh, the my daughter was born. Uh, I will name her Luna. Yay. Luna Matthews. Oh, and she's really good looking and pretty smart. So that's good. I literally can't do anything because I'm so in debt. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> This really is life. Thanks, technology. You're pregnant again? Amelia! <laughs> Come on, girl! I'm so in debt! Amelia! Ah! Oh, I'm only in debt $600. That's not bad. Okay, Amelia, we gotta wait to get married then, girl. I'm sorry. I mean, we're engaged at least. You know I'm committed to you. I mean, my health and happiness is through the roof. I had flu before, but I guess that doesn't matter. We had a son! Matthew Matthews, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this baby's gonna be messed up already. Oh my god, I have money. I can do things. I can't use the dating app though or I'll ruin my family. Casino, go to this casino. Pick your pet. Two, fit. Ooh. Oh, I get to actually play. Hit me. <gasps> I'll stand. I'm tied. Crap. Hit me. Oh, damn it. No! Try it one more time. Hit me. I'll stand. Damn it. I'll stand. Damn it. Oh my god, I'm losing all of our money now. <laughs> your fiance Amelia is pregnant! Amelia! <laughs> We gotta have the baby. Well, then I'm not marrying you again, Amelia. It's another girl. Great. Aurora. Another space name. Should we get married finally? Plan our wedding. Oh, it's gonna be so expensive though. Pick a venue. A restaurant, sure. Jamaica. Oh God. It's like half our savings. Fine. You married Amelia at a restaurant. <laughs> you went to Montego Bay, Jamaica for your honeymoon. Great. New Year's kiss. Well, at a New Year's Eve party, a homely girl tries to kiss you at midnight. What will you do? I just got married. I literally just got married. Decline politely. It'll be good. 37. Oh, you've been promoted. <gasps> yes. My son Matthew started elementary school. My big sister Libby and Marcus divorced. Well, can't say I didn't see that coming from the second that she married him because I just referred to him as person. Unemployed person. I have been promoted. Go to gym. Nice. My health increased. Age up 37. Nothing really happened. 38. My daughter Aurora started elementary school. Oh no, I'm suffering from pneumonia. Oh, I was given a race. Helen Ramsey, of course. She always knows what I got. Treat pneumonia. Can we buy a house yet? Ooh, a little bit more money. Your father passed away at the age of 86. He died while sleeping peacefully. Well, I guess that's good. Attend the funeral or skip it. Oh my god, attend it. It's I'm 40 and I still don't have a house or a car. Oh no, my happiness is going down. Amelia and I have been married for 10 years. I'm glad Amelia is not getting pregnant anymore. Every time I go to try to buy a house, I'm like a little bit under what I need. Age up again. Reindeer hot dogs. Some of your friends are eating reindeer hot dogs. No, never, not dear. Not my dear children. All right, come on. Oh, we could get a mortgage. What? Oh, well then I want a bigger house. <laughs> I didn't know you could get a mortgage. I could have gotten a house years ago. Now that I know that, None of these houses look good. I'm gonna wait another year. Some of your friends are going to the casino. Yeah, let's go. Oh no! I have to do a minimum of 5,000? Fine. But then I'm done. Hit me. <sighs> oh no. Ooh, four bedroom. Perfect. Condition, good. Can we apply for a mortgage? Yay! Okay. Oh, happiness, 24%. That's not good. How do I get happier? Go on vacation. Go on a cruise. Northern Europe cruise. Sweet. Go by myself. Bring Amelia only. Bring the kids only. Could you imagine your, like, wife? I love you at all, but I'm just gonna bring the kids on this vacation and you just have to stay home by yourself. No, just bring Amelia. Oh, yeah. Happiness went up. <gasps> My mom, no! She died of complications from old age. No! Attend her funeral. Your daughter Luna is asking you to pay for a college tuition. Total cost 61,000? I mean, I have the money, sure. Sure. Oh, but now I'm gonna have to do it for all my kids. Well, maybe some of them won't go to college. Her appreciation is like nothing. Wow, what a little snot. My 
My daughter Luna began studying education, okay. Aurora started high school, and I got a raise. My son Matthew graduated from high school. My son Matthew started a new position as junior flight attendant. Oh, perfect. He won't be asking me for college tuition. I got a raise. I'm 50. My daughter Luna moved out. Good riddance. My son Matthew moved out. My daughter Aurora graduated from high school. I mean, my life's going pretty good down there. Still pretty happy. My son Matthew has been promoted. My daughter Aurora has been promoted. Oh my god. Matthew and Aurora are my pride and joy. Luna can go to hell. <laughs> She cost me the most money and is the least appreciative. Oh, Matthew got promoted again. <gasps> Amelia! <laughs> Amelia! You discover that your wife Amelia has a lesbian lover. What will you do? Amelia. Amelia. I'm gonna murder you. Divorce. Divorce settlement. Oh no. What? Amelia, you're out of your damn mind. I am not. No! No! Why do I have to pay all this money? She's a lesbian and she didn't tell me and she cheated on me. This is not fair. My life is falling apart. Amelia, I hate you so much. Ah, oh, I have $3,000. Well, that's enough to use the dating app that I never got to use. How old am I? 56. Oh, she's got money, she's good looking, and she's a little crazy, but she's not very smart. Perfect, go on a date. True love, oh, my happiness is still pretty good. You have kidney stones, fantastic, I'm so excited. Let's go to the doctor. Helen Ramsey's still practicing medicine. Treat, great. Now if I do murder someone, can I murder my ex-wife? Pick your victim. I really wanna try and kill Amelia. Pick your method. <laughs> <laughs> this has gone to a dark place. She ruined my life. Atomic wedgie, you could kill somebody? Stairway to hell. Commit the murder. No, what was I thinking? Uh-oh, you tried to push your ex Amelia down a flight of stairs. I tried? Did it not work? Ow! Yikes, she assaulted you. She severed your knee. She scraped your foot. Oh, God. Okay, so my happiness and health is now at zero. My life's not going so well. Tried to murder my ex-wife, didn't work out. She instead assaulted me, took all my money. Helen, please fix me. My health is not doing well. <laughs> I'm suffering from ringworm. Oh my God, my life is falling apart. Wow, 59 is a real rough age for me. At this point, Helen Ramsey needs to be like 80 years old and still practicing medicine. Uh-oh. <gasps> Why does everybody cheat on me? I was gonna propose to her. You discover your girlfriend Helena has been soliciting men on the corner of an intersection. Oh my God. Break up with her and then murder. Helena's not even an option. Who's Luna Allen? Is that like my, my high school girlfriend who actually didn't cheat on me? She just broke up with me? No. Ooh, I got my health going. Keep going to doctors. What about colon? Colon hydrogen. Perfect. Uh, chiropractor. Great. You know what? She might be really ugly, but at least that means she probably won't cheat on me. So I'm um, now we're dating. Great. Oh, my, my happiness back up to 80. Yay. See, he just wanted love. Oh my God. I can now murder Helena with a wedgie. Yes. You attempted to pull your ex Helena's underwear over her face. She called the police on you. Oh God. You have been convicted of attempted murder and sentenced to 40 years in prison. You have been fired. No, my dance career. I was just starting to turn my life around. Okay, I'm in prison now. My happiness is at zero. Oh my God. And my life, attempt to escape, appeal my sentence, start a riot. Appeal my sentence. Oh God, I'm gonna be go more broke. You gotta go with the cheapest ones. You lost the appeal. Great, let's start a riot. Ow. You've been beaten by a gang of prisoners. They fractured. Oh God, oh God. You're behind on your mortgage payments. Oh, my life is falling apart. I mean, it's been falling apart for a while. Ever since, you know, my first wife cheated on me. Died? David Matthews died at the age of 67. You died of natural causes. My net worth was 300, over 300,000 though. That's pretty good. <laughs> David Matthews died in prison at the age of 67. His funeral was attended by his three children, his big sister Libby, and his two grandchildren. Oh, his girlfriend Esme, oh yeah, the ugly girl, <laughs> went to a rugby game instead. Oh, I mean, I guess that's karma for me calling her ugly. A handsome and unruly young fellow, he studied dance at university. David got a job as a choreographer, was a faithful servant to Zion Dance Company, worked there for 41 years. He once fought the law and the law. Oh, one. <laughs> Yay, what a great life. Not.
really. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for uh, bit life. I just kept getting cheated on, getting sick, had no money. I just kept knocking people up. I don't know. Tried to murder two people, but failed. I mean, live in the dream, guys. But as always, if you made it this far in the video, then make sure to leave a like before you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos almost every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon. Thank you.